what's going on. Yeah, back at it once again, man. Getting ready to go to this track practice. First, really first good practice of the year, man. We're going to see where we at. We've been doing a little lifting, a little jogging. Now we're going to go out here and see what we got for the uh, season. Hopefully, I ain't running into nobody. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let me put that seat belt on. Got them folks in front of me. You know how that work. You know how that work. Them folks get in front of you no matter how. How legit you is, boy. You better put that seatbelt on. If I ain't have my shades on, you'll know how nervous I was when I seen them folks in front of me. I'm glad he driving down the road, though. <laughs> well, yeah, man, 2000, 2018, cool, yeah. I'm glad it's done. Get ready for a new one to drop in, man. It's 2019, first day of track practice. Going ahead to see if I can help the kids out. Get them folks done stop behind me. Ooh, he stopped on the side of the road to wait till I pass by. He's still over there chilling. He might be waiting for somebody else to be stupid and drive past him fast. As long as it ain't me, though. Hey, Amen. But, um, yeah. I'm getting ready to head down here and, 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 and check these kids out. I know they. They nervous, especially my boys that got these repeat sixes. I know they nervous. I know they nervous, but it's all right. They got to do what they got to do, man. Y'all stay tuned for, for the little videos that's about to come out for practice and stuff like that so y'all can see a little bit of what, what I do. You know, I'm finishing up my um, my coaching classes so I can get the old five-year five year thing. Um, put that on my transcript. And eventually, eventually, not yet, it's gonna take a little time. But I think it's almost time for me to step to that college ranking. See if I can go and try to get me a college job, coaching track and field. Maybe even try to jump in with somebody with their wide receivers or something like that, you know, something like that. But I gotta wait for a little minute. My little girl's still in elementary school. My son's still in middle school. My, old, my middle baby just got to high school, so. I wanna be a daddy first, coach later. I can coach around here locally until they get done with school and stuff like that. And then after that, God willing, I'm still around here doing what I do, still breathing. And I go ahead and step into that, to that next realm, you know, following my coach Hollow, following Coach Holloway footsteps, something like that, you know. But right now I just gotta relax a bit, you know. Laughing at this uh oh yeah. Got the do rag on, you know. My kids had cut my hair off the other couple months ago because we went undefeated with my middle school, so I let them cut my hair off. So now my hair, you know, as you get older, that junk get thin, so it's just starting to grow back a little bit to where I can start hitting the waves back in my hair. It might not get the back to three, 360 no time soon, but I'm gonna have at least three or four of them, you know what I'm saying? Um, But, yo, I mean, Trying to stay out of it, trying to not say nothing, man, about what's going on in the political scene and all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, congratulations, uh, Clemson, for, for putting that thing on Bama last night. Oof. What, what Nick Saban going to be mad at? I feel sorry for the people in the SEC because Nick Saban coming to kill all y'all. Be, be careful. But um, I've been watching these uh, things with politics and old Dan Old. Old dirty do yellow. Been watching um been watching how he's screwing things up. Which is freaking uh, hey it, how did y'all not see this coming, man? I don't I don't know how y'all didn't see this coming. Um Did y'all not know that Donald Trump was like this? Did y'all not know that this guy was an absolute idiot from the time? Like, I think from the time he was born, like, he ain't never changed. And y'all thought that he was going to change when he became president. I be getting in arguments with people talking about, you know, Donald Trump, he's the greatest president ever. Are you serious? But like I said in my Facebook post and on my Twitter feed, when that boy take away them food stamps, he going to find out who his voting base really is. He going to find out who his voting base really is when that food stamp card dry up. 
when all them older folks they own these food stamps go to that register and they try to swipe that EBT and that thing and don't nothing come out. Cause see they think it ain't number black folks and, 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 and Spanish people that's on these federal aid. That's 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 not true, my friend. I live in a county in Hernando County where most of our schools title one, that means most of the people in the schools get some type of government assistance. And you finna cut all of them off. And them the people that voted for you. <laughs> That's what you do, Donald. Stick it to them. Stick it to every last one of them that voted for you. Maybe next time they'll they'll try to vote for somebody that got some some experience at being in government instead of an idiot that just go out there and tell them that we gonna make the country white again. Cause that's all you told them, and and, and that ain't gonna never come true. All that is old, brother. It, it, it ain't gonna never come true. Not again. But what is gonna come to pass? You about to have a lot of hungry children, a lot of hungry uh, uh, older adults, a lot of senior citizens that's going to be going without food and stuff like that, essentials that they need because they want they went out there and voted for you and now you finna stick it to them. But I guess, you know, you reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. And y'all, y'all sold some nasty stuff voting for Donald Trump. You really put some nasty, nasty seed in the ground and you're going to reap it, every bit of it. And I'm excited that y'all gonna reap it, man. I hope the the I do pray that the Democrats, you know, they do what they supposed to do in government. But all y'all that voted for Donald Trump, like y'all deserve whatever he give you, man. You deserve whatever he give you. Like these tax cuts that's about to uh, expire in this year, y'all deserve every bit of whatever you get, man. You deserve it. You deserve it. Because you walked around and you badgered President Obama when life was good, and I told y'all on my on my uh, black man driving, my, my black man driving stuff. I told y'all life was good under President Obama. Y'all didn't want to believe it. Y'all said he was such a bad president. He was such a bad guy. Like oh my God, he's such an apologist to the rest of the world, and he doesn't care about America. And you put this guy in office, who don't care about America and nowhere else. All he care about is his pocket. And y'all finna feel it. And you deserve it. So I ain't no tears. I ain't I, I, I ain't shed no tears. For now one of y'all. And 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 even the, the, the people like me, the black folks, like not like me, because I got out and voted. But the but the black folks that sat at home and was telling y'all to get out there and vote, you deserve it. You deserve it. Every bit of it. So whatever he give y'all, that's what you deserve. Maybe y'all will get up off your behinds and go vote next time. You go vote next time. He take them food stamps away. I guarantee y'all you, that's on the food stamps. Y'all gonna make sure y'all put the right person in office on the next one. But I finally made it to my destination. The police ain't stopped me. I ain't got to sweat too much more. I'm here at Springstead. I'm gonna go out here and get my work in.